the majority of sun creams claim to be water resistant. But you might be surprised and concerned to learn that rather than testing their effectiveness in, say, a swimming pool or the sea, the industry guidelines test actually takes place using tap water in what is essentially a bath. Now, since we think you're unlikely to spend time in both the sun and the bath at the same time, we decided to create our own, more realistic test to see what happened to the SPF rating when sun cream was submerged for a total of 40 minutes in each of chlorinated water, salt water and fast-moving water. We used two well-known sun cream brands for our test and the results proved disturbing. We found their protection levels dropped significantly after 40 minutes in our test conditions. The SPF of product A fell by 14% in moving water and 34% in both chlorinated and salt water. And product B was even worse, falling by a whopping 59% in fast moving and salt water. So in reality, you have no way of knowing what's going to happen to the SPF once you go into the water. In countries like the US and Australia, the SPF listed on water-resistant sun cream must be the factor it drops to after it's been submerged in water. But softer rules in the UK mean the true level of protection offered by water-resistant sun creams is anyone's guess. For information on how sun cream works and the most effective way to wear it, check out our sun cream advice guide.